gonna be like a bow in a way. It's gonna be so big. It's gonna be nice, good depth. You know. And we don't need saws. We don't need a saw. We're gonna start right there. Some people cut this. I don't. I don't. I can control the hatchet. And in my eye, two sides should never be the same. Because it's not machine gun. I like to make them just a tad. Just, just, just however it falls, that's how it looks. It's good and sharp, ain't it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> And this piece of wood's an old fence post out of Memphis, Tennessee, and it's probably just a little over 100 years old. I got people that bring me a lot of old wood out of old barns, and I like to repurpose stuff. Yeah, I turn that. That's what that divot does. It allows me to turn it. Basically, I, I call it like lathing. I just do it by hand. Yeah. It bends me rolling. Shooting it with my eye. They're, you know, that's just the way it was done. The Irish is phenomenal spoon carvers. They, um, it's unreal what they do with them. They make some of the nicest tools. That's why I buy and order a lot of tools from Switzerland and Ireland because they're all handmade. Are your juices up and wanting to do it? Oh, I love it, man. I do know a guy now that here in Tennessee has some original hatchets. They're a little heavier than this. They're broad axes and stuff, but they are very car you, know, you can use them to carve with. I like this one because it's light. You spend about eight hours with a hatchet. <laughs> know you've done something and I've got over 40 years in doing this of carving and stuff and it's just it's still hard on my hands as I get older it gets a little harder it doesn't have to be perfect you know that's the thing I do that. Just, I'm actually when I come in, I'm picking. I'm picking up like this. Now 
I'll be thinning the handle down here in a minute. You know? Got a knot there. Right there, so just gotta mess with it. Thinning this handle down. See the handle? Thin it out nicely. Yeah. And it won't be as wide as this. I'll I'll shape it. It's best to have more material, I think, than less. Because really the all you are is following the wood. You're not you're you're letting the wood. Wood is the boss, I think. And it can split, it can do things, and if you have less wood, then you're done. So I always start out with a bulk and work my way down. Cool. I mean, I see it, but most people, if you're starting out, you know, you, know, you just gotta think that there's a bow or there's something like this. There's your bow. That's all you need. I see it in my head. Just take little cuts. Don't get really overzealous. Just shape it. We're just knifing around. Do getting, a little shape. Getting what, what you call a rough end. Yeah, it's just very rough end. It will change over and over. Uh, when I start bowing it, you want to leave it thick. Don't ever take, some people bow first. I don't. I like to get the shape and it tells me a lot mm -hmm. of things. 
Everybody carves differently that does this style of carving. Some people will say, well, he's doing it wrong. Well, am I? Are you doing it wrong? I mean, to me, as long as you're doing it and having fun, what's wrong about it? You know? Damn it. And now, what's this tool you're using here? This is just a gouge. A gouge. Yep. Uh, number seven. Just a little gouge. And I'm just getting a little hole started. And I don't drill it. You don't have to drill nothing. If I ever have to drill anything, I still use a hand drill. I believe in so much doing everything in life by the original way. I'm just getting it started. I can't use an ads on here because it's too small. If it was a bigger bow, you would use the ads and chop it out. But you can't use that. And I brought out a different spoon too. This is called a love spoon. That's all cut with a knife. They're love spoons. They're not to be eat. You know, you don't eat with them. They're for decoration. And that has a lot of worm holes in it because it's very old. It's just a piece of rotted wood, and I carved it anyway. A bowing tool. They got so many different tools out there to bow with. running into a knot. Normally you don't want wood with knots, but I take anything. I'll take anything to carve with. It doesn't really matter. 